hello guys welcome to new video of azure devops in today's video we are going to create a pipeline to do ssh in a virtual machine from azure devops pipeline okay we will see how we can uh, ssh into a vm with azure devops pipeline and we will also see how we can copy files over ssh in a virtual machine from your azure devops repository or from your agent machine to the virtual machine okay so if you have requirement to ssh into a virtual machine from the pipeline you can follow this trick to do that okay so now let's uh, click on new pipeline click on edge azure repos git select any repository if you have github or bitbucket you can select that as well or if you have any other git you can uh, get your code from there as well or you can set up your pipeline there as well but we have already azure repository so i will select one let me select any of this like this one so here i will select a new one i will select a starter pipeline a starter pipeline means you will have a basic pipeline like with trigger pool and steps if you want to add something or you want to create a temporary pipeline you can select the starter pipeline option okay this is just a basic pipeline if you have to add stages or some other things or you have to import the repository you have uh, please go and follow my previous azure devops videos okay now we'll come here click on show assistant and type s s s s ssh here so you'll see three tasks one is to copy files over ssh one is to install ssh key if you want to install ssh key and if you want to run ssh commands in a virtual machine or a remote machine you can select the third one okay so we are going to discuss first and third one let me open this task copy files over ssh so for this you will have to create an ssh service connection okay so suppose you have a virtual machine and you want to connect with that there should be a method method of connectivity that is called service connection for that you need to go to project settings here in the service connections click on new service connection and type ssh so you will get this click on next you will have to provide the host name so suppose you your that can be any host name your virtual machine ip address that can be either private ip address or public ip address so suppose this is my private ip address okay and port number should be 22 anyway this is optional but you can provide the port number 22 because that is uh, how we do the ssh with port 22 okay you, if you have ssh key in your virtual machine and you want to try to do ssh with your private key or ssh key then you can paste your private key here or you can upload your uh, ssh private key file as well okay if you have if you don't have this private key you will have to provide your username so suppose this is my username and you can provide your password as well so and you will have to provide service connection and you can if you want to add description you can add the description as well let me save it okay so this is a service connection created see this is a service connection created to do ssh in a particular vm which we have provided here so suppose this is your host name or vm ip here you will have to provide your virtual machine ip address okay and here the key should be there if you have password you can provide the password as well 
now let's go to pipeline and add this task again SSHA okay now we should be getting the connection which we have just created so this is my service connection which we, which we just have created I have selected this here you will have to provide the source folder which file or which folder you want to copy over SSH in your virtual machine so suppose your folder name is something like src suppose you want to copy this folder then you can directly use this if you want to use some pipeline variables like this so suppose the, your src file is inside this directory system dot default working directory of agent machine so you can provide a path something like this so this will copy only src folder in this directory okay now contents if you want to contain all things you can put star or if you want to just copy some particular things you can just give the value accordingly okay like you you, you might want to copy dot json files or dot dln files or something like that you can specify here Okay, here you will have to specify the target folder in the virtual machine where you want to copy this file okay so something like this so if you want to copy this file in home directory inside users you can give something like this if you want to copy this inside temp you can give something like this as well okay if you are if you click on advanced you can see you have other options as well target machine running windows if you just click on i if you have some uh, i mean this target machine having uh, is running windows you can select this otherwise you can just keep the default one you can select this if you want to clean the target folder before before copying it or if you have some files already you don't need to select it okay you can provide the timeout override override all these uh, checkbox if you need this like fail if no files point to copy so if you check this this task will fail whenever if there is no files it's to be copied okay number of concurrent uploads when copy files so this this is 10 at the moment the default value is 10 you, are, you might want to increase if you have large files you can increase it or you can decrease it as well if you click on i you will see all the details okay. delay between queuing uploads in milliseconds so generally it will be delayed for 50 milliseconds between two uploads okay you can increase or decrease this if you want and just click on add so this will add a task with name copy files over ssh and this is the task version and these are all the inputs which we have provided okay so this is how we can copy a file or copy a folder inside a virtual machine with ssh from our Azure DevOps pipeline or from our Azure DevOps agent machines okay now let's check for the another task which we had for SSH okay this is the task again here you will have to provide the SSH service connection using that it will connect to your virtual machine this Azure pipeline will uh, communicate with your virtual machine if you want to run some ssh commands you can type your commands here or if you have some script file you can provide the script file path as well as well as arguments if you have some inline script you want to paste the script here itself you can do that do that as well and here you can select the cell so whatever suppose you want to run some commands uh, 
suppose you want to run this command okay so this will print how are you and if you click on advanced you can select these options if you need if you need interactive session you can enable it okay and you can use these settings as per your requirement so now let's add this okay so this has added one task with ssh and this is the version and this is the command which we are running if you want to run some script file you can do that as well or if you want to run some inline script you can do that as well okay so best according to your inputs this property will be changed and that can be either commands in line or script file if you run this pipeline this will copy your files by connecting using ssh from source folder this is the source folder to target folder okay and this ssh task will add the commands or add the run the script in a virtual machine which we have selected or which we have given the value here in inline or maybe commands or the script file okay so that's it from this video we'll meet in another video with some different topic if you like this video please like and subscribe my channel thanks for watching